Over the last seven years, the Utah Department of Transportation and the Federal Highway Administration have been looking closely at Western, Davis, and Weber counties. By 2040, the number of households in this region will increase by 65%. This population growth requires a solution that addresses upcoming transportation needs while minimizing impact to the community and environment. After a thorough analysis of 51 alternatives, a preferred alternative has been identified. By 2040, this one project would reduce all congestion west of I-15 by one third. Here's how the preferred alternative would work. The new West Davis Corridor would span 19 miles from West Point to Farmington. Several new interchanges would be constructed along the corridor, providing access for drivers and relieving congestion in nearby cities. The interchange with I-15 and the Legacy Parkway, for instance, connects with both northbound traffic on the West Davis Corridor as well as southbound traffic. By moving traffic off I-15 and Legacy Parkway, it also reduces pressure at the busy interchange with Highway 89. When there aren't other roads to pass over, the roadway would be low to the ground. Noise-reducing pavement would be used across the entire corridor to reduce noise. To minimize light pollution, streetlights would only be placed at off-ramps. These lights would use dark sky lighting that illuminates the road below while keeping light out of the sky and surrounding environments. Additionally, a new trail for cyclists and pedestrians would be constructed parallel to the corridor, running from the Emigration Trail in Syracuse for 11 miles to the Legacy Parkway Trail in Farmington. This new segment would complete a 38-mile route for bike commuters from Hooper to Salt Lake City. To help mitigate the project's impact on the environment, UDOT would acquire and improve vacant property west of the corridor, over a thousand acres in all, and add it to the Great Salt Lake Shorelands Preserve and the Farmington Bay Waterfowl Management Area. After years of careful study, public outreach, and rigorous analysis, the West Davis Corridor is in its final stages of approval. This preferred alternative provides a long-term solution for reducing congestion while minimizing its impact on the environment. Learn more about the West Davis Corridor at udot.utah.gov slash westdavis.